Now we go on to the 60. Slightly different animal because with the 60 this one is quite thick. It's what we call a very thick isotropic. You can take the top off this one and this one doesn't run at all. Whereas the 10 does. This one you can now use up to 60 mil in one go. But you must do it in one go. What you cannot do is put on a percentage, wait for it to cure, and then put more on top. As Notice, once I release the back end, I don't get any running. So the top just literally sits back on. Again, we mix this one. A little bit harder to mix because it's so thick. But you've got your two colours again. This now is a distinct two colours. So when you're mixing it, you can now see exactly when you get a complete mix. Again, scrape it off, and as you'll notice, we've got two colours. You need to get that back in and completely mix it back up. And as you can see, this is really thick. Thick. You can use this overhead. You can use it on the side. You can use it underneath, and it won't slump. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a small repair people are not so sure on how to do things you can use things like perspex and you can put the perspex into there and then you can fill into the perspex once it's cured the perspex then will peel off before we use the 60 what we have to do is we have to prime now you're okay to mix it if you want to like this and then prime because you have about 40 minutes working time now at this temperature today. Once you put the primer onto your material, you must wait a minimum of 20 minutes. Within that 20 minutes, what the primer does is it soaks into the wood and it opens the grain of the wood, which allows the epoxy to go into the grain of the wood, which gives us the hold that we require. Because of that, we, get, we, we will give a 60 year guarantee on the product but only if you use the primer first mix it making sure it's well mixed you can tell when it's well mixed you can see it's just again it comes into one color and then once it's mixed you paint it on we waited now about 20 minutes so now we're going to do a repair Take a lump and we insert it in, take some more, push it in, come down, clean the tool, get everything off the tool, turn it around because it's doing it this way, we can come over again exactly the same as what we did last time, we come over, we come down, we come back slightly and we cut.